Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. In this video, I create three new permutations on black paper. I call them neon, but aside from um, just the way they kind of glow on black paper, they don't, I don't really make an effort to emulate neon. It's just kind of a convenient shorthand. I recently did another video where I Upstairs neighbors, they just moved in. It's been great. I recently did another video where I worked on some pieces on black paper and I did them on a different kind of black paper. And uh, I will eventually do a comparison contrast of these two. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, uh, make sure you're subscribed so you see that video. It's been kind of a while since I talked about what's going on with me. So I thought I'd just do a video that is just about that. And so instead of talking about my process in this video, I'm just gonna, um, you know, catch up. Of course, if you have any questions about my art or really anything at all, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. But for now, let's just get into this video. It's turned out that it's been quite some time since I posted my last studio vlog, and it feels like a long time since I filmed this. After I made these pieces, my husband and I went on, on an epic road trip through the Central Highlands of Vietnam. I created a two-part series about that trip, and you can check those out if you missed them. I'll, I'll post the links uh, in the comments below. The process of making those uh, travel videos was, uh, I'm gonna have to say, it was really taxing. I'm finding that I tend to dread the editing process, and I have a feeling it's partially because I don't have a rigorous enough workflow. I've been working on trying to get more organized with my time and recently started using the Notion app. It seems like a great app, but it requires a fair amount of customization, especially for the way I want to use it. So I'm having to take a lot of time watching YouTube videos about how to use the app, which then makes me feel guilty because I'm not being productive enough with tangible outcomes, like new pieces of art but little by little, I'm getting it to be how I want it to be. Another thing I've been working on lately is my new website. If you haven't seen it yet, go take a look. It's, uh, the link's in the description. Um, not only are there dozens uh, of permutations available, uh, I've also created a bunch of print-on-demand items. Um, they're designs that I've created over the years. There's t-shirts and stickers and phone cases and a bunch of other things. I was a little worried about including non-permutations, uh, like making it confuse my brand or something, but I feel like most of the designs make sense and they relate a little bit to my style. I would like to eventually offer prints as well, but I need to first take high resolution images of my work. And these prints would have to be printed by a third party company and they wouldn't be signed or anything or limited. Um, just because it wouldn't make sense because the shipping from Vietnam would be so expensive. It'd be almost the same price as the, the prints themselves. 
so that's kind of a bummer, but I suppose it means it'll be a, a lower price for people who are interested in prints. Last week I started an online class in user interface. Um, many people might not know this, but a few years ago I briefly had a job as a user experience designer when I was still living in Chicago. But the startup I was working for had was having financial problems, so my job only lasted like four months. It was very unexpected and I had to rush to find a new job and unfortunately got a job I didn't really want. And that became a huge part of the reason why my husband and I moved to Asia. If and when I ever have, have to get a full-time job again, I would love to get back into user experience. I think I have a strong sense of anticipating people's needs. And I really loved interviewing people on their experiences. And I also just enjoy the design aspect of UX design. It's just pretty hard to do. Um, it's pretty hard to find that kind of work while living in a small town in a, in a foreign country. I'm hoping with this class to get some more direction and maybe pick up some freelance work, build my portfolio, that kind of stuff. I've really loved the opportunity to explore being an artist full time, but I'm not really selling enough work to justify not working at all. In the meantime, I'll continue to make art, of course, and YouTube videos until I'm just not able to anymore. In my videos, I usually try to impart some sort of knowledge or give insight to my process. 
I suppose if you watch closely, you can get some idea of how I do certain things in this video. But I, I know that I like to watch certain art vloggers because it's like having company. And in these times of pandemic, it's nice to hear another person's voice. I know that some people who watch my vlogs just listen to it while doing other work. And if that's you, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, Marco. No, but really. I know that people enter these videos in different ways, so I hope that mine either provides some company or offer inspiration for you um, to make your own art or whatever kind of work that you do. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of more talky format. I will probably continue to make different kinds of formats. For example, my next video will be about the processes I go about to keep an archive of my work, but it really helps and guides me to get feedback. And of course, if you watch this video and have questions about any, of, any part of my process, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. So uh, these are the three final pieces uh, from this little series. Um, I'm pretty happy with how they came out. And if you want to see my actual comparison contrast video of these two brands of papers, um, stay tuned because I'll probably post that pretty soon. I know that people find those useful when they're making decisions about buying art supplies and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.